and show you an amazing tool we are using even if I am not a graphic designer, we use a tool so that we can look professional as possible in our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever we need to do. We are using the tool, the free tool Canva. So I used Canva for a long, long time. And we moved around a year ago into the paid version, which gives us much, much more possibilities. But when you want to start out with Canva, then you also have the tool available for free. So you don't need to pay when you start out. It is only when you are going in a little bit deeper, want to do more and use certain future. But the free version of Canva is good, it's great, and it brings you a lot, lot further into your graphic design. I am not a graphic designer. I have no eye for it, but Canva is a great tool we are able to use so that we are able to move quickly something when we want to do presentation, checklists, whatever we want to do. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette T. Block, and now it's just you and me, and I show you what we are using in our business, especially when we want to create uh, presentations, picture uh, collages, when we want to do presentation, checklists. So you see there is a lot you can do with the free tool of Canva. So we are right now using the tool. We do have the paid version, but again, the free version is good to start out and it gives you a lot of possibilities. So let me show you what I'm talking about and let me share my screen so that I can give you my tool and show you a little bit behind the scene what we are using. So let me share my screen and let's move right into the application. Let's go in here and show you where we are. So this is Canva. When you are logging in, you know Canva is give, giving you a lot of templates, but we are moving away from the templates. We are rearranging everything in our business from colors, from, um, from how we want to be seen out there so that everything is more concurrent and not all over the place. But it can give you great ideas when you start out. It also gives you the measurements when you want to do a Facebook post, if you want to do a Facebook story, an Instagram story, YouTube thumbnail. So it gives you different sizes. You just can go in and pick the size you want. So here we are. So as I said, we are creating new templates. We want to be a little bit more concurrent, but also you are able, and I'm not sure if this is available with the uh, free version, but we are able to set up our brand color. So colors we are using in our brand so that we can have an easy access and don't need to put all the time the numbers in. So here are our brand colors and then I can choose them when I need them right from the application. So I'm not sure if this is in the free version. So take a look if you have the brand kit available where you now can put in your brand colors, right? You put in the hexa code and then that is uh, safe for you so that you can use it all over. But the biggest advantage I want to show you today is, and I love that tool because now, and this is for the paid version only, I believe, where we can easily remove backgrounds. So, um, background removal. So this is a picture we took 
where we easy uh, remove the background and I will show you exactly how we did this. Where I just choose a picture. And now I am able to click that picture. I go into the edit image and now I just choose background removal and now Canva does his thing and removes all the background. It doesn't need to be a one color background. It can be a picture you like and you have a busy background behind you. Canva most of the time will see it and remove everything around you and give you a clear background where you now can put it all over your places where you want to need it. So here now I can adjust, right? So that's a little bit too big. And also I can put this in the background. I can change different positions. And now we put in a dividing line where I now can make a dividing where I am. Let me make that a little bit bigger. All right, so we put in line so there I can go in and search for a line. And now I am using graphics. So and now I can choose easily the line I want to choose and can adjust it as I want to. So that line, I want this line to be in the background where I put in my position. And now it is in the background, but I have something so it doesn't look awkward. That's what we are using within Canva. It is a great tool also, and that is new where I now, especially for YouTube videos, when you want to have a nice outline, Canva now gives you as well the option to outline your picture for your YouTube thumbnail. Before it was a little bit complicated, I had to make a copy of the picture, put it in a, a light background or dark background and move the pictures all over. But now I can go in here and can do the outline. So let's see in shadows where I now can do the glow. And now I can go back in. I have the glow <clears throat> apply. And now I can make the adjustments. Oops. Stop. Oops. Stop. That is when we are live. So going in here making it. I have chosen the uh, shadow and now I need to go in here and put my transparency at zero. The blue I can intensify or put it at zero as well. And now I can go in here transparency, you see now it is around and I can choose the size. I can choose the color I want to have. I can change colors as I deem. So that is new to Canva. I believe it's only in the paid version. So I am not sure, but even Canva on a yearly base, it's like $10 a month and it's very, very affordable. And now I now I don't need to jump from one tool to the another tool. So now I have one tool, saves me a lot of time where I don't have to go to a background remover because it's free. Then I have to go to Canva free, have to line my pictures all over so that I get the overflow. So that is a lot of time saving. And and I believe $10 a month saves me a lot of time because now I have everything in one 
tool in i go in i do what i need to do and it takes me maybe now 10 15 minutes and before it took me an hour if not longer because i was jumping from tool to tool to tool and that's why we chose to go with the paid option but also now with canva we have so many possibilities especially when you are going into designing your listing pictures if you are designing your checklist for your buyer and sellers i can all do this in canva where we now are going let's see when we are able to put a nice collage into our uh, Canva, where we are now taking our pictures and can put them into. I can rearrange those pictures as I need them to be. So it is very, very easy now for me to create the design I want to put out for my posts, for my clients, so that I am looking more professional especially with the help i can stand uh, stay concurrent with all my colors with my designs with my with my um with my uh writing so everything can be now the same so that people recognize if they see something from me even without my face on it now they will probably guess it is from me. So even if they don't see me, I want them to recognize what is put out there so that when they see something that could be from me, that they are clicking. So as you can see, we also have our designs on here. So we are doing, uh, let me see, all my designs are stored here where I easily can go in and create a presentation so here it is easy for me to create presentation it is easy for you to create listing presentations um, um sellers presentations buyers presentations so you can do this all in canva use the same colors you also they have great great um templates to use so if you don't know what to do with it so that's what we are using as you see orange gray white so we are trying to stay concurrent with our colors so we are right now revamping everything so that we have everything uh, nicely lined up so that you if you see something that you recognize it even with me being on that you know it is from me so that's why we are using canva and the free version gives you enough possibilities for you to use it especially when you are putting out there your pictures if you want to have a nice collage and you are not a designer like me so I have no clue on designing which writings go with each other, which colors are good for each other. So Canva gives you the opportunity and gives you samples you can try out as you want to be. So also, if you are using Canva, here is a tip from me as well, because Facebook and Instagram are two different platforms. So we see on our own experience, the more professional we look on Facebook, the less reach we are having and the less engagement. And I want engagement with my people. When I'm using professional designs on Instagram, now we do uh, have more success because People on Instagram are used to design, to professional looks, to nice looking pictures. So what I would recommend when you are using Facebook, I would stay away from um, stock pictures as much as possible. Facebook wants you to engage with your people so let them know into your business let them know into your life and you want to stay as um 
organic, as natural, and as authentic as you may can. Different pictures in Instagram because there people are already used to professionalism, nice pictures, professional pictures. So that is no problem over there, but you want to stay away from stock photos in your post. Canva is a great resource when you want to do your Facebook cover photo. Yes, that can be professional because that is the first impression you are giving somebody who is coming to your Facebook business page and want to check you out. So that is a great place to stop when you want to use stock photos, go ahead. But I would stay away in my feed as much as possible from logos, from, um, uh, from um, uh, um, pictures that are stock pictures that people may recognize that they saw it already somewhere else. So you want to stay from those as well. And now even with, and let me get back in now, even with Canva, you are able to do videos, but also when you are doing newsletters, now you can do video newsletters or use the GIF or GIF, however you want to call it, and uh, put stuff in there. So let me go back in here. Let me go in here. So when I want to, let me change that back up. And now I am able to, let's say, uh -huh, to draw attention to GIF. So we can now with our email use GIFs to send out so that you are, when you send out a newsletter via email, now you are able to put them into your newsletter. Let's see if we find something, what is pumping. And now you may get attention. So let me put that up here. And you can download this. As a GIF, GIF, however you call it. And now put it into your email and you would I would put it on top so that people see it so that they open your newsletter when you are sending out newsletters or if you are sending out an email so that you get more traction on your emails so that they click where you want them to be especially now we know it is getting much much harder with email uh, opening to watch it because Apple again did a new update where it, it get, gets much, much harder for us to track who really opened our email, who really um, was reading to our emails because that will go away the, um, to all the new updates that are coming and tracking gets much, much more uh, harder for us who was opening the emails, who was reading the emails, who was clicking the emails. So now we need to find tools that we know who is interacting with our, um, with what we are putting out there, what we are sending them, because it gets harder for us to track and see what people are doing and we need to find different ways so that we can find out who are our people who are interacting with us and now now this is a tool we want to implement and we are implementing where we are now having different uh, tools or even you could do this post now as a video when uploading it as an MP4 and put it in front of your audience. And now you could put another ad 
in front of everybody who saw this video or this GIF. So that is something that is much, much deeper, but that's how we can track who watched our videos and then we can go in and uh, retarget those people putting something else in front of them. So seeing if they are interacting with us or not, but that is too much now. We don't want to talk about advertising. I want to show you the tool we are using and we put everything else away. We are not using any free version anymore, going to a background uploader, then taking that picture, downloading it to our computer, downloading in Canva. No, we made the decision about a year ago where we are now having the paid version of Canva, making it much, much easier, especially we are now able to remove backgrounds in one click, remove uh, outline our picture, picture for our YouTube thumbnail. So I don't need to change anymore and overlay anymore. It is very, very easy. It helps me especially I am not a graphic designer. I don't have an eye for it. What we are doing right now, we are putting everything in simple templates, which we are reusing where I can easily change the wording. The templates are already there. But if you want to, certainly Facebook has different templates for you, depending what you want to do. So that is the tool we are using. If you want to use it for free, it is free. You have a lot of opportunities within that tool, even if it's free. Take a look if the uh, uh, background removal is free or if the thumbnail, especially when you are doing videos, if that is free, I believe both of those versions are paid, but it is less than $10 a month. So, and if you don't have that $10 a month, I think you have a much, much bigger problem because it saves you so much time. It saves you so much energy from thinking. You just put it now together. You can do your checklist. You can do your listing presentation. You can do your photo collages. You can do your posts. So there are so many things what you can do with Canva. And if you want to start, I have um, for free, I have a link below. You can start out for free, use it as long as you want to for free, where many, many options are available for free. So that makes it much, much easier for you and your business when you want to uh, put content out there or create content for your buyer, seller, or your audience. So hope it helped you. So the link is below if you want to try it out for free. There is no credit card required, nothing. You can start out for free. And when you feel like you want to upgrade, but you don't have to, now you are able to use the option like a background remover and the uh, thumbnail. And there are also video cutting tools in now that just came out a few weeks ago where you now can edit your video within Canva. So much, much more to do. But if you don't have a tool where you can create your presentation, your picture collages, your postings, start out with Canva free and it will help you a lot of time nerves and money because if you are not like me like a graphic designer and put everything together canva is a great tool for your daily business i hope that helped you thanks for watching Dankeschön and auf wiedersehen